Are you looking for the fastest, easiest, and most accurate way to lay out your next structure or building? If so, then this is the video for you. In this video, I'll show you how to quickly and accurately lay out your building or structure using five simple steps. There's a few tools you're going to need to do this project. Uh, one, you're going to need two tape measures. Uh, they need to be long enough to uh, do the length of your building. So uh, for me, like this is a 25 foot tape. Um, my building is going to be 26 feet long by 12 feet wide. So uh, this will work for the 12 foot wide and I'll need this for the 26 foot length. Um, you're going to need some string. You're going to need uh, some kind of uh, stake. Uh, I'm going to use rebar, but you could use wood stakes. Either one will work. Um, one word of caution, if you do use rebar, uh, be sure and get those little caps to put on top after you're done. Uh, you won't see that in this video because I'm going to not put them on while I'm laying out. But when I'm done, I'll be putting the caps on because if, if you fall against one of these, that could be a really bad day. So uh, you'll need, yeah, and then you'll need a hammer to uh, pound those into the ground. And uh, optional, but I like to use a torpedo level just to make sure I'm putting the stake in um, straight up and down. Um, if, as long as you're measuring from the bottom, you'll be accurate. But if they're not straight up and down and you try to measure farther up, you know, if they're leaning or whatever, you'll, uh, you'll have an inaccurate measurement. And then also aesthetically, it just looks nicer to be straight up and down. So uh, those are all the tools you're going to need to do this project. So the first thing you want to do is pound your uh, first stake in. Now this corner is uh, your, going to be your starting point. It's um, not critical on where you put it except for where you want it. So for me, I want it to be 25 feet from uh, this direction here, give me some room for some other things. And then I want it to be a little bit back from this uh, bank of dirt. And, um, and then I'm going to go out 26 feet this direction. So. Um, your first stake should just be the corner that you want to start your building at. Um, and you may have uh, requirements like if you're putting it next to another building, you may want it to line up so that the two buildings are straight are flush with each other. Uh, you may want to be a certain distance from that other building. And so the two buildings look like they're situated side by side and they're not uh, skewed from each other. So that would be your requirements. But for me, I'm out here in the open and uh, I just want this to be my first corner. So uh, no measurements here, nothing uh, critical here other than where I want it. Step two is to add your second stake. Uh, for me, it's going to be the length of the building, although you could do the width of the building. I'm going to go out 26 feet and place this stake. The, the only thing that need, needs to be accurate here is the 26 feet. Uh, you want to be exactly, however length that your building is going to be, you want to be exactly that length. So for me, that's 26 feet. So I'm going to go out and put the stake down 26 feet. Now, as far as the direction, you know, this will deter, this will be the back line of my building or the, it'll, so it'll be the straight line that you're going to be going off of for uh, whatever structure you're building. So this is going to determine if everything's square, which is what you want, then it de determines the direction the building is going to face. So, you know, if you put it here, or you put it here, depending on where you put it is going to determine the direction that the building faces because this will be the back wall of your building. So if you if you were trying to line it up with another building, you might want to put the stake uh, half or part way on that building and run a string and make sure that string's just kissing the back of the first building. And that would give you the location for the uh, second stake. But for me, not critical, just in the direction I want the building to face. So I'm going to go out 26 feet and place this stake.
Step three requires a little bit of math. Have you heard of uh, the three, four, five rule? That's uh, Pythagorean's theorem. And um, it says that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So essentially, if you take a, a right triangle and uh, it measures three feet on one side, four feet on the other side, the diagonal uh, line of the triangle between the two will be exactly five feet. And if that's so, then you'll have a 90 degree corner. So that would ensure that your building stays square. Of course, the bigger the triangle you do, the more accurate it'll, your uh, building will be. And um, we can test this theorem by taking the three, four, and five and putting it into the formula. So three squared would equal nine, four squared would equal 16, and nine plus 16 equals 25. If we take the square root of 25, which is just the opposite of, um, of uh, squaring a number, then uh, 25 becomes five. So five times five is equal to 25. So the square root of 25 is five. So indeed, three, four, five does guarantee a 90 degree angle. But for the most accurate, see, we could just take our actual dimensions of our building and uh, apply those to the formula and find out exactly what, what the length of that diagonal should be. That would be the largest triangle we could do for our building and it would be the most accurate way to square up our building. Uh, so if we take uh, my building, for example, uh, and replace uh, the A with 12, the B with 26, so we'd have 12 squared equals 144, and 26 squared equals 676. We add those together, we get 820. If we take uh, the square root of 820, we come out with 28.64. So um, if we take that 28.64 and put it into a calculator that'll do fractions for us, and I'll put a link to a, a good calculator in the description that I found on the internet, that comes out to 28 feet, seven and 11 sixteenths of an inch. So, or 343 inches and 11 sixteenths. And 11 sixteenths is close enough to uh, three quarters, which would be uh, 12 sixteenths to be three quarters. So that would, we'd just uh, call it three quarters. So our, our distance needs to be 28 feet and seven and three quarters inch or 343 inches and three quarters of an inch. So if we, if we do those measurements diagonally, from both these corners, from uh, the stake we put in a step one and the stake we put in a step two, we will have uh, exactly 90 degrees all, all four sides and our building will be laid out square. Step four is to take that measurement that we calculated using the Pythagorean theorem. That was uh, 28 feet, seven and three quarters of an inch for us. And then we, what we wanna do is measure out 12 feet and that's where the second tape comes in. So um, 12 feet because that's the width of my building. So I measured out 12 feet and then from this stake here, I'm going to measure um, the 28 feet, seven and three quarters of an inch. That creates the long leg of our triangle. And so between these stakes, we've got our big triangle. And where these, uh, the 12 feet and the 28, seven and three quarters of an inch cross each other, that's the location for the next stake. And then you want to do the same thing again in the second direction, measuring out for me 12 feet and then verifying the diagonal is 28, seven and three quarters of an inch. And where those two numbers cross each other, that's your, that's your point.
So once you've got your pin set um, and you measured, uh, double check your diagonals in both directions, make sure that they're the same. In my case, that was 28 and seven and three quarters inches, 28 feet, seven and three quarter inches. And then uh, double check that you're 12 feet by 26 feet on, on all of them. You should be, if your diagonals are right, you should be. And uh, once all, take your time in that step because that's the most critical step. And uh, once everything's correct, then the next thing you're gonna do is move on to step five, the final step. And what you're gonna wanna do is put a stake about three feet apart away from uh, your corner stakes. And you wanna run a line between the two and you want the line to just kiss your corner stake. And we're gonna do that to all four sides. And when we do, that's gonna create, a, our strings are gonna cross each other and they should cross each other right where those pins are. So you don't want the string pressing against the pin. You just want it to barely touch the pin. And uh, where those two strings cross, that's gonna create uh, your corner. And then at that point there, we can remove those corner stakes and our strings will be, uh, will show us where our corners are. And the, the uh, these stakes that we're putting in now, they'll be permanent until you finish building your uh, structure, or, or at least the platform and the foundation of your structure. Once you've got that, the rest of the building is gonna go up square. But um, you leave those stakes there so that uh, you can remove the string while you dig your footings and so forth, and then you can put the strings back. And if you put the strings back, they'll be exactly in the same spot and you'll still have your corners. You won't have to go through this process again. That's why that's what makes this uh, the uh, fastest way and easiest way to do this. So. Uh, I'm gonna, I've done one side already, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other three sides and then I'll be done with this and it'll be square and I'll be ready to start digging my footings. Once you've got uh, all four strings up, you can remove these uh, corner pins. You no longer need them because now your string is now marking that corner. And the beauty of this system is if you have to get in here to do excavating or to, uh, to, to dig uh, holes for posts and, uh, or bring stuff in here, the strings aren't in your way because you can just simply take the uh, string off and pull it out of the way to do whatever you need to do. And then when you, uh, Need to know where your corner is again? You just put the put, put the string back, and you've marked your corner again. So, uh, so these pins will stay here until you finish your uh, foundation, or for me, a decking. And once that's done, then the rest of the structure will just be built off of that, and you won't need these uh, 
post any these uh pins anymore but uh until that time comes you just leave these pins here take the strings down whenever you need to do stuff and you need to know where your corner is like when you're raising a post or something then go ahead and put your strings back on so uh if you found this video to be helpful in any way uh please click the uh like button it helps and if you're curious about what i'm building here and would like to follow along on the project uh like and subscribe and check out the video uh, on the screen now